head, scene of Jack Eye 1994. On today's show, we'll be seeing two of the tournament's bright young talents in action, plus we'll be giving you a chance to win a fabulous prize. More details of that in our viewers' competition later in the show. Now, so far in our coverage of Jack High 94, we've been treated to some sensational bowls action. The good news is that you can acquire your own special souvenir of this year's tournament with the best of Jack High 94 video. To order your copy, simply put your name, address and phone number on the back of an envelope and send it with a cheque for $13.75 to Mazda Australia, PO Box 183 South Melbourne, Victoria 3205. Two of the bowlers you'll see on that video are Cameron Curtis and Mark McMahon. Curtis from Sydney and McMahon from Hong Kong represent the new wave of young bowlers currently challenging for the highest international honours. Today they clash in our featured match. Conditions at Tweed Heads reveal that a southeasterly breeze is blowing with a slight chance of showers. Bobby the Bowl says the green is running at about 16 seconds. Both players need to win to remain in the running for a place in the semis. Our commentators are Steve Boylan and Ian Shubak. We join the match early in the first set. Well, Cameron Curtis after that great four. Looking for a good start here. Struggled with his first two bowls on this end. This way of going on the first end now. Well, that's a better start from Cameron Curtis. Mark McMahon electing to play the backhand, which was so successful for him on his last bowl on the first end. He's played it quite well. It's a matter of weight. Can he get past the bowl of Curtis? Yes, he can. Well, he can tip it out anyway, and that's one. So Curtis. Sticks with the full hand away from the clubhouse here at the Tweed Heads Bowls Club. Magnificent venue for the Mazda International Jack Eye for 1994. Curtis has dropped short. And now McMahon on the backhand. Playing opposite hands, these two. Steve, this backhand seems to be swinging a lot more on the wider side of the rink. We watch now swinging back towards the jack Mark McMahon has picked it very well that's two shots well, Curtis is shaping up now for backhand shot He's following McMahon yet to play a bowl on this hand and well he's got a lot of correction with his next So McMahon needs to stay away from the outside bowl that belongs to Curtis. The one that he's online for, or is he around it? Yes, he is, so the weight might beat him. Well, Curtis seems to be shaping for a drive. Well, he's after the bare jack. He's missed everything. So McMahon still holds a couple. under that bowl of Curtis's. He may well get another counter while well, he's played it well. But Curtis picked up four in the last end, but McMahon has answered the charge with a three. Three, mate. Four all. And three it is. So the scores are level in the opening set at four all. So the scores are locked together in this match. Important match for both these players in the Group B section. Other competitors, Andy Thompson from England, Margaret Johnson from Northern Ireland and David Stockham from Australia. But these two players, Curtis and McMahon, both have a win each and they both would desperately want to win this match to keep them in the hunt for a semi-final berth. The loser, I think, would nearly exit this tournament. Yeah. 
McMahon looks this looks like a bit of bowl from, from Mark McMahon. Just around behind the jack. Yes. So Cameron Curtis. Then in pretty good form. He was unlucky to lose his match against Andy Thompson. He's the current world pairs champion. Who's his partner, Shuey? Oh, he had a pretty ordinary skip, I think. Uh Steve, he won that uh, world title on his own. <laughs> Ian Shubak, of course, Cameron's partner. So McMahon holds one. Curtis hasn't got a bowl past the jack yet, so McMahon, every opportunity, he should trail this jack for three shots. Oh, well, that's exactly what he's done. It's a fine shot for McMahon, so Curtis is looking down the barrel of a possible four here. Very good player under pressure normally, Cameron Curtis. Not easy conditions, he won't want to be short and he's made the mistake of overcorrecting. Well, let's run a couple of metres through, still three down. So McMahon has a chance here to hold four. He needs to pass the front bowls. Well, a wasted opportunity for McMahon. Still, he holds three. Cameron Curtis. Try and draw this cold. Yes, Steve, he'll be... Trying to beat the bowl at five o'clock, just behind the jack. He'd be very happy to get second shot. Ones don't really hurt in a game of singles. Can't afford to drop a three. This looks pretty good. How's this for three down? Three down to one up, I reckon. It's close. Anyway, a magnificent bowl from Curtis. So McMahon hangs on to one after a good bowl from Curtis. He takes the lead in this set by one shot.